this is South Central. Liquor stores, fast food, vacant lots. So the city planners get together and they figure that they're going to change the name South Central to make it represent something else. So they change it to South Los Angeles. Like this is going to change what's really going wrong in the city. This is South Los Angeles. <laughs> Liquor stores, fast food, vacant lots. I live in a food desert, <laughs> South Central Los Angeles, home of the drive through and the drive-by. Little has changed since the uprising of 1965 and the uprising of 92. The one thing that has changed in that 47 years is disease. People were dying from curable diseases in South Central Los Angeles, and this is why. This is a store that just opened maybe three weeks ago. It's right down the street from me. <laughs> and this is right across the street from the school, and this is what they serve in this store. So if you're, if you're a child right now and you're born in South Central, you have a one in two chances that you are going to be, you're going to get a curable illness like diabetes. And the uh, obesity is just off the chart. This is where you're going to wind up. These are sprouting up around the neighborhoods with, uh, you know, even though the vacant lot is right next to it. People are losing their limbs behind these curable diseases. You have streets where they have used wheelchairs lined up like used cars. This has to stop. So what I did, I got tired of living in a food desert, so I figured I'd plant a food forest in front of my house. This, this is a parking strip. It's like right before you get to the street, you know, the dirt, it's like 150 feet. So I figured, you know, it's, it's owned by the city, but you have to maintain it. So I figured I can do whatever the hell I want with it, you know, since, <laughs> you know, since, since, since I'm, <laughs> it's in front of my house. So, so what, this, what this did, we, we, you know, we got rid of the grass <laughs> and just start planting healthy, fresh vegetables. And like people are like, how, well, how you do that? How you do that? I'm like, well, first of all, you get a shovel, then you get some, <laughs> you get some good ass soil. You know, and you put stuff in it and you water it, you know, and th this is what happens. So this, this resonated throughout the community. <laughs> and and it, it, was, it was like an inspiration to people, you know, to see this. It was like it was a freak show or something. They had turned down the street and they see 15-foot sunflowers. And it's like, what the hell is this? So, you know, and I had people that, that would come you know, and pick the stuff, and people are you, aren't you worried about it? Somebody stealing all your food? And I'm like, no, that's why it's on the street. <laughs> I want them to take it. I, I, I want them to, to experience this. I, I want people to take back their health in the community. You know, I want, I want them to be empowered, you know, stop waiting for people to do other stuff for them. So, you know, people would come by, and it was like, it was like I would pre preach the gospel of the garden. <laughs> You know, and it was like I, it was like I was doing the garden's wheel. You know, was, I'd see people in the supermarkets, and you know, with a little kid, and if they had frozen carrots in their basket, I was like, "Don't you? Do you have a garden? Do you want one? You know, we we can put a garden in your house for free." Because I started an organization, and that's what we did. We put gardens in homes in South Central for free. It's like a pay it forward kind of thing. So, but, so I was an inspiration, you know, to a lot of the, my garden was, to a lot of the neighbors and the beauty, and people would go out of their way just to see it. You know, they would, oh, I, walk, I drive down the street just so I could see every day. It's amazing what a sunflower would do. I started giving food to, to people that I'd see them admiring what was happening in the garden. And I had people traveling from other cities just to see it. We actually did a petition on change.org because the city came down on me because somebody complained and they wanted me to take it out. With only 900 signatures, I was a success. They, I had to take it off of the site because the city backed off. 
And so what, what, what happened there is we figured out a way to pay this forward. You know, this organization that we started, we are, we're also partnering with some, with some kids in their neighborhood to tr change what's happening in the city, in the area, and show these kids how to grow food, how to gourmet cook food, and just change this, this whole school to prison paradigm that we're dealing with in my community. And it's, and it's all by design. So what I would like you guys to do is basically, when you leave here, just plant some shit. <laughs> you know, get a shovel, get some, you know, get a shovel and just get gangster with it. You know, <laughs> become a renegade. You know, and then maybe you should call City Hall and tell them, well, you know, maybe Ron Finley and his garden, you know, aren't a problem. Maybe they're an opportunity and a solution to what's happening in this city that your simple name change is not going to ever do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.